Hey guys, what's going on? This is Teo Vanya with Social Stinger and today in this video I just want to show you a little trick to basically creating a custom audience really out of thin air, out of nowhere, really, okay? If, let's say you have um, a customer list already of over 100, 200, 300 um, people who've bought products from your Shopify store, okay? Now, this is a great way for you to be able to retarget those customers into buying more products by using Facebook and actually creating what's called a lookalike audience um, for those customers, okay? Basically, targeting people that are very similar to your uh, customer, customer base, okay? But let's say you do not have customer base yet. Let's say you're just starting out. Let's say you're fresh, you're brand new, you have a store that you want to you want to promote, um, you want to get sales to your store, but you don't have a custom audience yet. That's still okay because what I'm going to show you today is basically how you can get uh, a list and import it into your custom audience that's highly relevant to your niche. Okay, so for example, if you're selling t-shirts Okay, it's very easy for you to just go out there and find email lists of people who purchased apparel, who purchased and who purchased different products. Okay, if you if you're selling, uh, for example, if you're selling health products, okay, you can go out there and you can find email lists of people who have previously purchased health products and purchase those email lists and use that for your uh, retargeting. Now, typically. You know, a lot of marketers will think about buying email lists to email those customers. Now, most of the time, I would say about 80 to 90% of the time, if you don't know what you're doing, it's going to be very difficult for you to actually just go out there, buy an email list, and um, prepare to email this list and make sales. It's going to be very difficult for you to do that, okay? Now, the trick for today is basically taking that email list that you've bought and putting them into a custom audience list. Okay, now that does a few things for you. Number one, with Facebook, let's say you purchase a, 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 an email list of over 100,000 people who purchased health products in the past, okay, the past year. Okay, now that email list is not all going to be fresh, meaning that if you were to email 100,000 people today, you're gonna get a lot of bounce backs, you're gonna get a lot of spam, you know, and you're gonna, it's, it's gonna hurt your reputation, okay? Rather, instead of doing that, the best way to, to, to work that into a marketing campaign is to put them into a custom audience because what Facebook will do is Facebook will actually clean the email list for you. It'll tell you exactly how many of those people are actually on Facebook with their email addresses and it will actually help clean all of that, you know, all the bounces and everything else like that. Because what it does is it targets those people on Facebook who are registered with that email, okay? So for example here, um, I uploaded a list of about roughly around like 420 people and Facebook came back and said, okay, only around 300 of them, 300 of them are actually on Facebook um, and that they're ready to be marketed to, okay? So this list of 300 right here are all buyers okay all previous buyers of one particular store okay now I I'm basically taking this list and retargeting them with different products okay so I'm, I'm, I'm giving them a, an opportunity to purchase a similar product um, and usually with the retargeting list you'll get around a 20 30 percent conversion rate is what I've seen okay so let's say if you if you uh, promote a product you'll get 20 percent of that um, is actually going to go go ahead and click on your uh, links and purchase your product. So around 60 out of the 300 will actually purchase, it, you know, when when the numbers are right. Um, so basically, that's what you're doing. Okay. So in order to find this email list, all you can, all you do is just go on Google, type in your niche. Okay. Let's say your niche is jewelry. Uh, email list. Okay. And basically, you'll find a whole bunch of these. Um, websites out there that are selling um, lists for people who've bought jewelry or jewelry retailers okay and, and all that other stuff so just 
go ahead and check them out. Okay, let's let's take a look at some of these here. Mind you, this is just a, a fresh search, so it could be anything. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, so this this one right here, um, you can get a list of over forty thousand retailers with their email addresses and everything else. So that's actually pretty good if you are selling jewelry um, supplies and jewelry wholesale and things like that. And look at what happens here. Okay, they give you the entire list with all the email addresses, Gmails, Yahoo's, AOLs, Comcast. And typically a lot of these business owners, um, you can target uh, by using your custom audience list as well. Okay, you don't specifically have to email them. Okay, you, you do that through Facebook. You do it subtly through Facebook so that when they see your ad on Facebook, they know it's relevant. They'll click on it. They, they have a higher chance of clicking on your ad because it's more relevant to their market and convert on your offer. Okay, now let's take a look here. Okay, there's 10,000 email addresses of jewelry, retailers, things like that. Um, you can find a whole bunch of them out there. Okay, you don't. It doesn't have to be jewelry. It could be health. It could be fitness. It could be uh, T-shirts, apparel, whatever it is. Now here's a, here's a good website for you guys to use. It's called Nextmark, and Nextmark is actually a legitimate website. They they sell um, email lists for basically any industry, almost virtually almost every industry. Okay, whatever industry you're in, if you're selling T-shirts, you can even find consumers who have purchased t-shirts and get um, the email addresses. Okay, there sometimes it's a little bit pricey depending on the email list, but um, these are, I would highly recommend this um, next mark just because they're, they're more of a solid uh, list uh, provider. Okay, so you can do this with any, any niche. You can go for health, okay, type in health email list or health mailing list. Okay, and you'll find a whole bunch of them out there. Info USA is actually a good one. Um, they have a whole bunch of uh, email lists and they've been around for a very long time. Uh, okay, and you can find a whole bunch of them out there. Even go to search page two to find people who are selling health email lists. Okay. Now, going back to what I mentioned, you don't have to necessarily email these people to send them to your store. Okay, that that might even that I mean that might even hurt your business because then they're going to start clicking on spam. They're going to start you know posting negative comments, whatever it is. You don't want to spam these people. You want to go through the proper channels of marketing, such as Facebook. Okay, so put them through your Facebook retargeting list. Now, in order to do that, all you have to do is click Create Audience, create a custom audience, okay, and then you um, would insert your custom audience through a, through a file, okay. Um, basically, click on Customer File and import from a database like an email list or something like that okay so you drop drag and drop your CSV or text file filled with emails insert them here okay once you once you have that click next and it's gonna take roughly around like 20 30 minutes even an hour for Facebook to prepare your audience so if, if it's showing up red and it's like okay it's not ready yet just wait okay just wait for it and then you'll see your actual audience size here like I mentioned before I, I uploaded over a 400 email list, it came back with 300 um, right on the dot. Okay, so 300 of these people are on Facebook from the 400 plus that purchased uh, from the stores, okay? Now, the next step, okay, let's say you wanna, you wanna grow this and scale it, okay? It's very easy to do that. Now, all you do is you go here, you create, you click on look lookalike audience, you create a new audience, create a lookalike audience, and what this does, it's it's gonna create an audience similar, okay? It's called lookalike, but it's it's gonna create an an audience kind of like a clone. It's gonna find the the basically Facebook has this algorithm that they find similar buyers, similar people that are you know um, that look just like the audience that you have posted, okay? So what you do is you, you find the source, okay? You've already uploaded the source, okay? If, if it's not uploaded yet, you just have to wait, okay? But once it's uploaded, you're gonna be able to see it here. Retargeting tees, okay? So click on retargeting tees. Okay, this is the audience that I've uploaded. Input your country, okay? So I'm gonna put US. And 
What you can also do is you can click on this and it says show advanced options. So when you click on it, it's going to be able to create multiple audiences for you. Okay, so let's say you want to create um, lookalike audiences within the 1%. 1%, okay? So 1% you're going to reach roughly around 2 million people. And then you're going to create another lookalike audience, 2% to 2%, 1% to 2%, 2 to 3%. You can actually add more custom audiences up, up to 6. Okay, so let's do 4. Okay, let's do up to 3 to 4%. Okay, so basically what happens here is the farther you go out up to like 10%, the less relevant they're going to be, the less lookalike they're going to be to your um, to your original audience members of, of 300. Okay, so these people here with the 1%, most likely they're going to be very, very similar to your audience right now. Okay, so for example, let's say my audience was all buyers of jewelry. They were all buyers of jewelry, okay? Now Facebook's gonna take that audience of 100 people, 200, 300 people that are buyers of jewelry and they're gonna find similar buyers of jewelry and basically create a lookalike audience for you, okay? And this is how you're gonna be able to scale. You're gonna be able to go from selling products to 200, 300 people to selling products to 2 million people. Okay, do you think that's gonna help? Of course it's gonna help. Okay, so once you do that, this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, it's, it's a little bit more, it's, Facebook's faster in creating custom audiences once you have your original audience size. But basically, what you do is you test out your ads with each one of these audiences. Okay, so you have one audience here, another one here, another one here, another one here. So you would create, let's say you have a winning campaign. Okay, you have this one campaign that's doing really well for you and you're, you're getting you're making lots of money on it what you do is you scale your campaign by targeting look like audiences okay so first I would create a a similar ad um, and basically target just these people okay then I would create another ad and target just these people and then another one and target just this one and another one and target just this one okay I hope that's making sense for from what I'm saying here but basically Essentially, this is what you want to do. You want to find um, audiences that are highly relevant to your market and you know they're going to convert. Okay, when you do a retargeting campaign, usually you're going to convert a lot better than if you were to do a fresh campaign. Because your retargeting campaign, you're basically retargeting the people that left your store or who have purchased from your store. Those are the best ones, of course, the ones that purchased from your store. And get those people to buy again. Okay, you can also do a retargeting campaign for the people who, le who left your store. Okay, let's say you have people who, who have left your store. What you do is you create a, you create a pixel, um, a Facebook view pixel, and basically that pixel will allow you to, of course, if you have a thousand visitors, okay, so it's not, this number is going to be, it's not going to be 300, it's going to be a thousand. You're going you're gonna to be able to retarget those people who left your store to come back and purchase what they, were, what, what they um, originally left the store for. Okay, now the best retargeting pixel out there, of course, is going to be your, your, your current buyers list. Um, number one, okay, it goes down the line by your, your best retargeting pixel is your buyers list. Okay, the next, the second best is the people who have added pro products onto the cart, but they weren't making the full commitment to purchase the product. Okay, so these people the abandoned carts, you can actually retarget them um, and create a separate audience for that by, by creating a custom conversion pixel. Okay, So once you do that, you can retarget the people who left your store but they added stuff onto their cart and they were ready to check out but for some reason you know, their, their dog was barking outside or their baby was crying or whatever and they had to leave their computer and they, they absolutely forgot about it. Okay, that's the second best retargeting pixel because what you do with that is you take that pixel and you put it into a, a custom audience. Okay, and then you create a lookalike audience and you can still use that to market um, your Facebook, within your Facebook ads. Okay, that's, that's very important because you're, you're getting back all the people who left. Okay, and let's say you had a thousand people who left your store. That's a thousand orders waiting to happen. 
Okay, that could be thousands and thousands of dollars in your pocket by just doing this one little step. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment, uh, like this video, share this video, and I look forward to helping you guys.